very interesting question on bar modeling. So let's see. Over here, Timmy and Pedro have 24 together. And Timmy, if Timmy gives Pedro five cards, they will each have the same number of cards. So we have Timmy here. And we have Pedro. So Timmy has this amount and Pedro has less. Now what happens if Pedro gives five to Pedro? What happens if Timmy gives five to Pedro? So this is the extra that Timmy has. So what if he gives half of the extra that he has to Pedro? So if he gives half of the extra that he has to Pedro, they would have the same amount. So what is the equation that we have over here? We are going to first erase off the extra so that it's not confusing and put in the numbers. So over here, this is going to be 5. This is going to be 5. So when Timmy gives 5 over to Petro, they're going to have the same amount. I'm going to define this as one unit. And this is one unit. So what is the expression here? Two units will be equals to 24, take away 5, take away 5, which is 14. So how do we get the equation again? So we have one unit here and one unit here, one unit here. And this is equivalent to 24, take away the extra, which is 5 and 5. So moving on, we have one unit. One unit is equal to 14 divided by 2, which is 7. So now we know one unit is 7. So we know this is 7 and we know this is 7. So how many trading cards does Petro have at first? So at first, Pedro would have seven cards. So we can always check the math. So we can check it over here. So at first, Pedro would have seven cards and Timmy would have seven plus 10, which is 17. And seven and 17 make 24. And later, Pedro would have seven plus five. Why is it seven plus five? Because now we have the seven, we have the five that is given away to Pedro. So it's seven plus five, and this is 12. And how much would Timmy have? Timmy would have only seven plus five, which is also 12 because he has given the 5 away to Petro. So in this case, 12 and 12 also make 24, and now they have the same number of cards. Question 2. So now, Johanna has some chicken nuggets and 6 sticks, and she puts 3 chicken nuggets on each stick. She has 2 chicken nuggets left. So over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 sticks, we have three chicken nuggets on each stick and we have two that is left over. So how many do we have? How many chicken nuggets do we have all together? We have six times three plus two, which is 20 chicken nuggets. So now she puts four chicken nuggets on each stick. How many chicken nuggets will be left? So if instead of having three, she has four on each stick. So 20 divided by four, how many sticks would she have? She will need five sticks. And is there any remainder? There are no remainders. So there are no chicken nuggets left over.